What's up guys, I'm Ben from Authentech and we're jumping right into it. Today we're comparing the new Autel Evo drone versus the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Now I just finished my in-depth hands-on review of that new Autel Evo drone. Make sure you check that one out after this one in case you missed it. The Mavic 2 Pro is going for about $1,500, and they actually just raised it 50 bucks. Not sure if you saw that one. The Evo is currently $1,000, and that's about 500 bucks cheaper. Quite the difference. The Evo drone actually has a few features that the Mavic 2 Pro does not, like 4K 60 frames per second. Also, it has one of my favorite features, I'll just keep talking about it, that OLED screen built right into the remote control. So you don't always have to pull out your phone in order to fly and see that live video feed. It's right there at your fingertips. As for the Mavic, it has a one inch Hasselblad camera sensor and it produces some really beautiful 4K 30 FPS footage, splendid aerial photographs at 20 megapixels. It also has object avoidance sensors in all directions, very sweet. So without further ado, let's head down to the lake and catch some side by side camera comparison shots and see which one you think is better. When we're setting these up, you'll notice both quads are actually very similar in size and how they fold and unfold. The Evo looks to stand just a tad taller than the Mavic, but overall close in size and portability. Honestly, I'd give both these drones an A plus from me for that portability factor. Another key note to discuss, just check out how convenient and easy it is to boot up the Evo with just that controller and drone. And that video screen built right in, there's no need to mess with cables or hooking up my phone, we're set up and ready to fly in seconds. Now the Mavic isn't terrible by any means, it's just a few extra steps to hook up the phone into the controller, launch the app, make sure everything is updated or else we can't fly. I appreciate Autel does not implement this lockdown into the Evo. Getting up in the air and flying the same flight path, let's compare side-by-side -side footage. Both cameras have 3-axis gimbals, and as I mentioned in the beginning, the Evo can shoot not only 4K 30 FPS, this is where the Mavic maxes out, but can also shoot 4K 60 FPS. I've gone in depth on the benefits of 4K60 in the past, but the TLDR to half speed slow-mo aerial shots while maintaining crisp 4K, your footage can often look a lot more smooth, stable, and cinematic. All camera settings were left in default, and the reason why we do this, well, for the average person out there, they're not tweaking with color profiles or manual exposure. Those tools are powerful and great for the pro shooters out there, but default settings are a great way to see what sort of image the average person would be able to capture with these drones. Starting with the obvious, the Evo has a much wider field of view, 94 degrees to be exact. The Mavic is 77 degrees, and that's when shooting at full FOV. I already did a side-by-side -side of that setting versus HQ mode, and though it crops in even tighter in HQ, I found the quality and image to look better, so thus I left it in filming in HQ mode. The pros and cons. Well, sometimes I really like that ultra-wide angle, making landscape aerials look really sweet. However, sometimes it's nice to have a lens that makes you feel like you're flying closer to objects than you really are. Plus it compresses that background in, so both are good in different ways to each his own on this one. Moving on to colors, saturation, white balance, and dynamic range, they both look great. Interesting enough, the Mavic seems to have a bit more punch of saturation and contrast over the Evo. As for sharpness and clarity, I've got to be honest and I'm really surprised on this one when I was reviewing the footage. I was expecting that Mavic Pro 1 inch Hasselblad sensor to blow the Evo out of the water, but in a lot of these shots, man, it was very close tied. In some angles, I think the Mavic looked nicer, but then in others, the Evo clearly looks like the better camera. Leave some comments below on which camera you think looks better, the Evo or the Mavic. Now just for fun, I captured a quick shot, both drones recording 1080p, 120 frames per second, retimed 25% slow-mo. 
Both look smooth and pretty similar. A bit blocky and pixelated, I'd say neither is a clear winner or loser over the other. Now when we switch to photos is a different story here. The Evo has 12 megapixels, the Mavic 2 Pro has 20 megapixels. So when we compare side by side still photos and zoom in, I've got to give it to the Mavic for the crisp, well-defined details and sharpness. The Evo is nothing to sneeze at, and some of those images it snaps looked really, really good too. But that one inch 20 megapixel sensor on the M2 Pro really shines here. Both quads hover and fly stable and smooth. There's lots of smart controls and safety features built into both. The Mavic has a lot more sensors and more directions for obstacle avoidance and smart tracking capabilities. Now I wanna move the question onto you guys. Which one do you think is the better drone and why? The Mavic 2 Pro, is it worth spending $500 more than the Autel Evo? What about customer service or no fly zones? There's a lot to consider, but as for the camera comparison, it was fun and really interesting to see these side by sides. Now, any of you guys interested in seeing a comparison of the Evo versus my Parrot Anafi? That'd be interesting because the Anafi is only $700, making it 300 bucks cheaper. Let me know. Make sure you guys stick around for more drone and tech videos like this posted every week. And until next time, let's live authentic.